Hello, it is your favorite green bug, and today I'm here to tell you all about my top four favorite shark species. And so, here we go. Now, my favorite shark is the epaulette shark. Epaulette sharks are known as walking sharks because they travel from one body of water to another when their living conditions aren't right. So, like, when there's no more food left or there's a lot of predators in the area. Um, and they can survive on land for about two hours and can shut off parts of their brain that aren't essential for life so that they don't feel the heat. Um, they do this by increasing the blood supply to their brain. Uh, epaulette sharks are from Northern Australia and can grow up to just under four feet long. So they're not that big. They're pretty small, but also I can imagine a four foot long shark walking on land is pretty terrifying. Makes sense that they're from Australia. Now, obviously, there's many more cool things about the epaulette shark, but for the sake of editing me, I'm going to move on. <laughs> now, my second favorite shark is the nurse shark. I'm, I'd be pretty surprised if you haven't heard of a nurse shark. I would love to go swimming with them. Um, they're a species of carpet shark, and they can grow up to about nine feet. Uh, they're best known for how friendly they are, and they're scavengers. They use suction to feed on their prey. So pretty much they're like little vacuums of the ocean. <laughs> Nurse sharks are found in warm, shallow waters in the Western Atlantic and Eastern Pacific Oceans. Uh, their name comes from the way that they move their mouth because it looks like a baby nursing. And they're nocturnal. Now my third favorite shark, whale sharks. Uh, their size compares to a school bus at 40 feet long. Whale sharks are the biggest shark species in the world, but are also one of the friendliest. Whale sharks don't have shark teeth, so they do not pose a threat to humans, and they feed on plankton. Whale sharks have been known for giving divers rides on their backs. I would love to go diving with a whale shark and catch a ride on one of their backs. They can be found in tropical waters in Western Australia, Mexico, Sri Lanka, and the Philippines. Now last, but certainly not least, the goblin shark. They're a little creepy and look harmful, but there are very few known attacks from goblin sharks. They have a very long snout covered in sensing organs to easily ambush their prey. Another really cool thing about these sharks is that they can thrust their jaws three inches out of their mouths. Goblin sharks can grow up to 12 feet long and are mostly spotted off the coast of Japan. Not much research has done, been done on goblin sharks, but they're definitely one of my favorites.